Hey, have you seen my doom days of ice anywhere? Out in the kitchen. Okay, thank you. Oh, by the way, I found this box outside on the porch. I um, don't know if it's yours or not. What is it? I mean, it could be art and I hate art. Is it a uh, craft kit? Because I don't do those. Well, it says it's a uh, not another craft kit. What? Hey dragons, this is Dragonsnip and welcome back to another video I guess. I really don't know how to do these intros at this moment, I'm, I'm still learning. But I'm very excited for this video because, well, number one, I did not expect this package to come in like a few days ago. I had planned to do another video for this week, but because this package came in, I just, I, I just couldn't wait. Um, actually, let me go get it for you to show you. Hang on. I have been waiting for this. This is new. If you don't know what this is, this is something that Nerdy Crafter made, or, or, or she's been working on it for two years, and now it finally arrived. Um, I have no. I remember watching the video that Nerdy Crafter did. You can't even see it. It's so big and heavy. I watched her video about it. I don't remember what's inside. I remember there's a few things in here, but I don't remember everything. So I'm super excited to look through this, and I'm gonna. I had to tell myself that I couldn't open it until today or whenever this video comes upload. So yeah, I'm gonna be opening it today on camera, and I can't wait to make something out of this. I'm not even going by the script anymore. I am super excited. That's how excited I am. So let me get everything arranged and let's get started. So wait, which side do I open this up? My guess is this way. So I am. Let's just get this thing open. If I can get open, that is. I, I was able to open it one time. Time to run it. Really? Am I opening it the wrong way? Maybe opening it this way? Yes, we open it this way. If you can see it. Ooh. Bubble wraps. Can you just stay open? Oh, these are going to be fun to pop. I'm going to say that later. I really love these um, design. Oh, this is the instruction probably, wow. which I'm probably either going to read or not a read. Probably going to read. I will look at this later. Put it on the ground. Oh, oh, um, can't see that. I'll probably blur it, but I will take this out quickly. <gasps> I got stickers. I love stickers. I'll look at these later. But uh, let's look at everything else. I have something like this here at home. Man, I, I mean, there's not, not room to put all of this here. I remember some of these stuff, actually. Ooh, this is, should be exciting to look through. What's this? Oh, oh, hey, I needed a exacto blade. I mean, I do have, like, more but I'll open these up later. More paintbrushes. And... This stabby thing. I mean, what do I use it for? Maybe texture? I'll put something out with that. It's a stabby thing. But paintbrushes. Nice. Limited foil. This thing. I don't remember what this is for. Paint and, oh yeah, resin. That, yeah, that's resin. I've never used resin before. This is why I've been super excited. Because I would like to use resin for the very first time. I cannot wait to use resin. Can my camera focus, please? That is just the bowl. The sandy... Shoot. The sandy block. I'm super excited to use this. My desk is filling up. I have these actually. I actually went out and bought these. So it's good that I have extra, just in case, you know, I mess up on something. I don't know, maybe the other one. Now these are actually the mold for their UV resin. I feel like, again, I have never used resin before. So I'm super excited. This is silicone. I'm actually, I was thinking that this could be like plastic something. 
I'm probably going to clean it out before I start using it because there's a little bit of dust in here. But yeah. And then we got the two part epoxy. I actually have my own two part epoxy, but I'll probably use this too. And um, when I first used um, two part epoxy, I did not know. I actually use it without gloves, so I will be using gloves with these if I ever use these in this video. Careful, baby. I know the light will be out of your way soon. Why do you have to come this way? Come on, out of the box. Come on. There you go. This is a silicon mode mode mold that I am. Um, that's silicon. Of course, it's silicone. Why am I surprised at that? Set it over here because I don't have enough room over here. Margarine cups. Perfect. This is the light. Battery's not included. I'll have to put my own battery in. Uh, what battery does it take? Also, yes. You can't even see it. It's blurry, but I can see it. Nerdy Crafter plus Smart Art. I have my own UV light that I will be using. Oh, this is the funnel. Oh, there is a funnel. Okay, perfect because I'm a very clumsy person. Yes, sculpt. All right, yes, sculpt you, yes. Okay, good, that, that loud noise is really... This is the plaster stone. Never did plaster before. I'm kind of nervous and excited to use that. Oh, um, remember this, um, this case here that has paint? Well, this is also a big kit to have a kit, kit that had all the paint. It couldn't fit the red if you watched the Nerdy Crafter video. I don't know what this is. Alcohol ink? What that for? Um, for I don't have room on my desk. Sculpty clay. I've never used a specific clay. It's cracked. I wonder if I can get the. I've used a different type of clay, so this should be interesting to use. And this is the mat that comes with it. Oh, there was like a few other stuff in there. Whoops. This mat was Nerdy Crafter. I'm super excited. I don't like that phone on the floor. Rubber bands. Okay. And popsicle sticks. It's not like I have any of these at home, but thank you. Is that all of it? Uh -oh. Yeah, that seems to be all of it. Close it up. So I'm gonna get everything out of the box, kind of. I'm gonna clean this. This is pretty much everything that came with the kit. So I'm going to remove everything out of the plastic container and I'll be right back. No, there won't be any more clips. So let us start off with the mixing part of this video. Kind of looks really for some reason. So yeah, as I'm mixing this thing, no sooner than 30 minutes, 30, not 30 minutes, 30 seconds later, it does this. Ah, oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. I made a mess. And then another 30 seconds later. Ah, no, not again. And then another 30 seconds happened. Oh, for the love of God. And then I start panicking and grabbing up the bag and then... Next day, and then I decided to kind of, you know, pull it out of the case. Oh god, this thing is warm. And then I proceeded to struggle for about five seconds or so. Now it's time for some sculpturing. Uh, nope, it's just kidding. It's just time for sanding. This way, all the way to there. For a cat shine. Oh, hurry, wait. Uh, yeah, this is just a part of the video where I kind of go ahead and fix up the sculpture, sand it a little bit from the um, earlier stage where I didn't get a, you know, sand part of it. And now I'm going ahead and adding the armature to the um, creature that I'm building. I go ahead and later kind of wrap another eye around it. See? And I'm going ahead to working on the spikes. Well, the spine for the back of the creature. And here. And the wire that's so thin that I could just, you know, cut it with like the scissors. This 
pointy things that I have that actually really help me out with this project. Okay, so now we're getting to sculpturing. No, we are just, you know, getting ready to sculpture. <laughs> so we'll get to the part that get good, right? <laughs> no, we are actually um, ripping off this poor guy's arm here. It, it took me a while to figure out the Dremel tool and how to kind of get that the piece that I need to actually stick into the Dremel. So now his arm is cut off, which is kind of pointless now that I think about it because, well, you'll see it in the later pro like, process, I guess. So now I'm kind of rearranging it. Well, not yet. I'm actually kind of smoothing it down because when it was like attached to the body, get it body. <laughs> it was like, um, well, it wasn't really completely sanded down. So now I'm going ahead and using the same technique that I did with the tail and the spine, but that not, that, that was like the worst idea. I didn't, at the first I didn't want to use super glue, well not super glue, hot glue, because I didn't know how well it would handle in the oven. Now that I know that I can use it without a problem. So I'm just kind of smoothing it out with my pointy thing. And we're just going to go ahead and jump to another scene here as I'm deciding to work on the, the creature's toes. In this case, it claws. Because, well, this creature had claws. Except for his hand. Someone at my job thought it was cute with his grabby hand, so I kept it that way. I had originally planned to add claws to the hand. But that never happened, and I thought it was really cute without it. Let me try to figure it, like, fight with that arm. My face. So, and then now I'm going ahead and work on a little bit with the tail. Later on you'll see that I add a little bit more tin foil because it's too skinny. And now I'm working on the other leg, adding in the same amount of clay that I did. Well, not the same amount, it's a little bit different, but you get the picture. I'm smoothing it out. At the beginning, I didn't know how to feel about this clay it, because I was so used to working with my other with uh, another clay that I'm like, mm, I'm not sure about this clay. And now it's time to make the belly or just kind of passing it about. And then I decided to stab it with an exacto blade. I should have just grabbed the other exacto blade. Why did I stab it? Maybe I just want to be dramatic. I stab it the. So now I'm going ahead and cutting a few of clay away because it was a little bit too much. I didn't want that much. I'm going ahead and smooth it around. Uh, using my pointy thing again. For a while I actually didn't want to use any of my other equipment that I had because I just wanted to use stuff in the um, kit. But I later found out that it was so much easier to grab. Well, later on I did grab it out. And I thought it was easier, but I barely used anything from my own kit. I just used what I had from the kit. So I'm just kind of smoothing it out from the area, in the area to make sure everything looked nice before moving on. Another jump sk skip, and we are going on to the shoulder. Uh, Singular Godzilla had like the shoulder pad on his shoulder. You can kind of see it here. And I want to kind of capture that and his neck flab. I've never seen the move, the anime. Yes, this is going to be Singular Point Godzilla from the, that anime that just came out. And like I said before, I've never really seen it. I want to see it, but right now I'm watching Moriarty the Patriot. So after that, I'll be watching Godzilla Singular Point. I'm just kind of smoothing it out in the neck areas and the chest area, I guess. I don't know. Now, this is where I actually decided to add a bit more tin foil, as you can see, well, barely see. I tried to keep it in frame. And so, I did kind of build up the volume. I should have done it a little bit earlier, but I've forgotten about it. And now I'm just adding a bit of clay here, but I realized that I was having a little bit of difficulty with adding the clay because, 
one of the foot was not baked yet, so I decided to go ahead after this to bake it later. But for right now, I'm just kind of building around the base so that way I can keep the tin foil on, well, the sculpture in here. Okay, now we're moving on to the white clay that I had around. I've been using this clay for another project. That's not this, this is like a side project that I've been working on. I have no idea what this is over here. I think it's super like, clay again. So yeah, I had to reactivate it because it's kind of old, it's sitting around. And as you'll notice that I'm using a different Super Sculpture bottle because I didn't want to waste the other one that I got from the kit and I wanted to use the one that I had up to get rid of it because I had it for a long time. So yeah, I've been kind of messing around with the white clay that I had. I think it's called Craftmate, I think, polymer clay. I'll have to look again. But as I'm smoothing it onto the sculpture and stuff, I come to realize that how much I absolutely hate this white clay now. Using Super Sculpture for two weeks, I'm actually more in love with Super Sculpture than the white clay. I'm sorry. But the clay that I've been using for years was just... I'm s you know what? I'm not sorry. I found my new true love. Sorry, White Clay. You have been replaced by Super Sculpture. No, please. I said we had something together. Please, please, just give me another chance. Please. I'm sorry, but you're going into the trash. No. My foot. Okay, that was the worst joke I've ever done. So now in this scene, after my discovery of my new true love, I am working on. The jaw of the creature. So this is my first attempt at doing it. Didn't work out. I had planned to make him ha have an open mouth, but it didn't work out. So yeah, this is the first attempt here. And then this is like the second attempt here, I'm cutting up the clay to make the snout. But even then, I didn't like it. I tried doing the two balls on the side again, which I will do later. But Apparently, I just, I, I guess I did it a little bit differently, and I still didn't like it, so you'll be seeing me changing it again, right here, this is the second, the third attempt, and I still didn't like it. As you can see, I'm always trying to build up the jawline, and I still didn't like it, so I ripped it off, and this is my fourth attempt. And this is the jaw that I will keep for the rest of the video, but I did kind of trim like part of it later because I felt like it was a little bit too long. So now I'm just smoothing it onto the face to make sure it stays and it will stay there forever and never move ever ever again. And then kind of re-gradient to make it look like a jaw. I did add like a underbite because it looked like from the picture from Godzilla Singular Point that he did have like an underdraw, kind of. So that's what I'm doing that here. Well, not here. I'm just kind of making like rearranging the jaw to make it look like a jaw. It kind of looked like um, something. I think now I'm working on the neck pink. <coughs> I am sorry. I just lost my voice for a second. I think I'm working on like the neck. Yes, I'm working on the neck piece. It's something that kind of come from the jaw all the way down to the chest. Kind of like what I did, like ah, earlier, I guess. Sorry. And so he is now. I'm working. Oh, not working. You already know that I'm working. I guess I'm just kind of um taking clay off, smoothing it out, make sure it um connects. It, part of it goes on to that like little neck V that he has and then I will do it to the other side in a bit after that one side is done I have to cut up more clay to get that other piece that I need just similar try to keep it close as possible I don't know I, maybe I should have just blended in with the jaw maybe I don't know 
But you look like he's smiling. pre-made them I believe during this time so in the oven being baked if they're not I don't think we'll be seeing them in this video because I had to cut out a lot from this video because it would have been four hours long if I had cut everything in I don't think you want to watch a four hour video unless it's like a movie but even then I don't think people want to watch a four hour movie to really you know add so many spikes and now on this side I decided to work on one of the spikes and I will be working on the other side to make the other spike now the only thing I regret out of this project is that the tail is a little bit too close to the head we should have um made it go a little bit further away because the middle piece of the spike is supposed to be bigger but I had to make it smaller in order to fit in there and don't worry, he will have eyes. I, the only reason why I'm not adding the eyes in now is because um, I'm going to be doing resin. And I don't know how resin would work in the oven, so I'm going to do that last. And I'll be using a pop of gold. I think the only thing I forgot to do is to add like, the other details, but um, I will do those a little bit later. As I'm trying to build up the spike in the back. It's probably a spike, but it's actually called spine or his dark of fin that they are called. So yeah, I'm just kinda working on his dorsal fins now. That care his um has his radiation in I guess. I don't really know, maybe they do store his radiation for his atomic breath. Alright, that's the thing. I was actually planning on having his mouth open to have like a atomic breath come out of his mouth, but I couldn't figure out the, for the life of me to have his mouth open. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have a, like an idea, but at the time I didn't have the idea, so I kind of kept his mouth closed. Maybe when I do the project again, I might redo it. I'm gluing the arm back on with hot glue. 
I mean, at least something. Sorry, you caught me at a very bad time. <laughs> so, I'm gluing the arm back on, using stuffy around the arm to make sure it's secure. There I go. And then I pop that thing into the oven to make sure that that arm stays on. And it has stayed on. Pardon me. I'm eating right now. So that arm has not fallen off, I meant. And I am very proud that it hasn't fallen off. The only thing now that I wish I had done is just kept the arm the way it was because it just ended up the way it was before. And I'm just like, this is not how I wanted it to look, but it was already too late to change it. I think now, no, I'm adding um, more detail to the legs. You can't see it, but that's what I'm doing. I'm adding detail to the legs because he has like these like a dorsal fin. I don't know what they're called, like little flaps on his legs. It's a shame that I wasn't able to really get the left other side of the foot um, perfect. Oh, now you can see the spikes. There they are done. And now that I have the spike, I am trying to figure out where I'm gonna place them onto the um back of the creature. And so I decided to go ahead and well grab a more clay, scruffle that area up, and then fix a few areas up before going in and adding super sculpture to the back of the creature. Well, after I, I think I'm done with the teeth, I think I'm done with that. I think I then just decided to add in, well, add in the super sculpture to the back of the tail, to the back of the tail, to the back of the tail. There we go. And I decided to go ahead and smooth that area out to make sure all the little hard pieces stayed under the clay. I did lose one of them later, and I just never decided to add it back on to the tail. Just having a struggle putting it on. Okay, so it's now the next video part. Not video part. And I'm using resin. I'm casting resin out. You will notice back here that my resin here that had like a tissue around it. That's because when I got it in the box, it was leaking. And I didn't want to touch it with my hand, so I had to grab it with tissue. So I'm going to be using that one up until it's that empty. Please, for the love of God, wear a mask whenever you use these resin. I didn't put it on until like here, you know, but I have used it for the rest of the young time I've been using resin. But please, for the love of God, wear a mask because resin is very dangerous. Also, be in the well ventilated area, which I am. I wanted the eyes to look glittery, but um, it kind of leaked underneath it because I took it out first. So after it dried, I had to clean it. I decided to keep it in there so that way I can work on everything else. Grab my epoxy sculpt that came from the kit and I grabbed all of it because I knew I was going to work on it. This was the most softest epoxy sculpt I've ever used. It wasn't sticky like the one that I had. And this one was actually really, really fun to use. It was soft. And I'm wondering if I can find something like this again. It was so nice to use. Unlike my other one that I have. So yeah, I just cleaned out both of those containers. Make sure I had all of them. And yeah, bookie thing not going to work. Right, so I got both of these two mixture. And I just went to town with it. It was so much fun to use. I had air, uh, air dry clay, so if I 
it didn't work out with the epoxy bulb, I could use my air dry clay, make sure they sticked on. So after mixing it like it, what felt like a billion years, after a billion years, please come on, hurry up. Okay, now I put it on to the sculpture, take it off camera for some reason, put it back on to camera as I am um, struggling to put it on. Well, no, it sticks actually perfectly. I asked my brother to grab me a bowl of water, a small bowl of water, and he proceeded to bring me the big bowl of water you see in a minute. So, not only am I making sure this epoxy sculpt stays, oh, there's the bowl, that's the big bowl I was talking about, and the need big. But, but I'm making sure that the spikes on the side actually stays on. And I only lost one spike so far. Hopefully I don't lose any more. And I continue to do this for the rest of the tail. To make sure, well, to add that detail that the tail had, but also just have a little fun, I guess, if you want to call it that. Oh, and you'll notice that the creature is done, because it was done. Wait, what? What happened? Well, my camera died, and I was doing, like, actually sculpting the rest, at, like, after I got home from work. I didn't want to charge my camera. It was late at night, and I wanted to get the epoxy done, so that way I could paint the next day. So, yeah, he is completely done 100%. Sorry that you didn't see the rest of the sculpture. I was already running out of time. So now I'm into the painting phase now. Everything is done. You'll notice some black clay that was my epoxy sculpt because I ran out the, the other one that came with the kit. So now I'm just kind of putting this blue-gray color onto the creature. Which, well, why am I saying creature? This is Godzilla, of course. With grabby crab hands. So now I'm just painting everywhere. And try to avoid the resin eye. I managed to clean it. got a little bit dirty, but I managed to clean it. I had to add a little bit more white, black, and blue to kind of get my mixture. It's just to kind of finish up painting this entire creature. I don't have no idea why I added more black. As you can see, I'm mixing it. And now I'm adding it to the creature. It's Godzilla. Say Godzilla. <laughs> So yeah, he gets completely painted with this color, and I do a wash later, and the, the um, spines on his back will be painted white. I get everywhere on this creature.
being like washed. I had this light gray to add into the area, but I ended up not using it at the base. I decided to use the black uh, wash that I had because I didn't like how like, light it was, so I went ahead and added the dark colors to everywhere. And I like that better than the gray wash. But I have, I went back and used the gray wash a little bit later. I just wanted to make the skin a little bit darker and not all that blue. And for some reason, I guess uh, when I was like wa letting the water down and the paint down, it just kind of, some of the paint kind of sticks to the bottom, so I had to um, use some water from the water cup. And then I'm adding like my paint to toenails. I went back and forward. I would try to make this kind of brown in color, but it looked too much gold. But I decided to keep it. I thought it was cute. Wash around the jaw, it ended up not looking the way I wanted, so I had to wet it down just a little bit more to get that effect, which worked perfectly, and I absolutely loved it. I wanted to get like a darker area around the mouse, I wanted to get everywhere, every single crevice here. I did add a little accident later, and it will see it in the final project. Um, I was trying to get some darker black in between like the chest cavities and it's I thought I got all the water and it spilled over and now it's dried up. I can no longer get rid of it. But I really had fun dry like washing. Maybe I could have done dry brushing but I didn't really think about it until later. like the dorsal fin uh, I didn't want them completely white so I added a little bit of black to make this gray color to all of them and then later I would add the red vein into the back because in the picture um, he did have like these red veins to the singular point you can see the middle spine um, that spine did stay there was one other spine that did fall out it was coming loose I guess I didn't kind of push it in like I thought I did when I was painting so when I was painting over there, it came loose, so I just took it out and just never put it back in. Which you actually can see it on the side. You know, the side if you're looking up behind my arm. So yeah, this area will be painted all gray.
say it's time to add in the red vine. I kind of follow, traced alongside the spine in order to kind of create this leaf like effect, I guess, if you want to call it. Veins on the bigger spikes. I did it behind the each spine, I guess, but I didn't really complete it because you're not really, really look at it from the back. We're just gonna look over it from the front and maybe a little bit on the side. Hopefully, none of my imperfection can be seen. I mean, if you ha if you have looked closely at it, you can see some area had them been painted. Some of them are still gray because I missed them and I didn't notice it. But you can't really notice those imperfection unless you get close. So once I finish painting everything red. Was that necessary needed? He is completely 100%. Oh wait, no, I need to mod podge him. And I'm going to be adding glaze to the area like the eyes. And, and I was trying to create saliva, but that didn't work, so I later used resin. So after all of this, he is 100% done. And let's move on to the showcase. Before I get to the end credit, I would like to say that I've been a huge fan of Godzilla that I even picked up this magazine and he'll look great right next to the squid here. And I've done many other sculpture like this dragon Halloween artwork that I was, did back in Halloween. There was supposed to be a video for it but never came out. It is kind of broken but I'll fix it. And then this is my very first sculpture I ever did back in 2019. Again, he's broken but I will fix it. And he's really Dusty for some reason. I like to thank Nerdy Crafted for well creating this box and also inspired me to do YouTube. Without watching your video, I probably would have just sitting down and doing nothing. I got into sculpture because of you and doing YouTube. And so thank you so much, Nerdy Crafted. And well, let's finish this video off with a bang. If you like this video, please consider please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you want to see, like I said, you'll be on um, TikTok uh, on Instagram. So follow me on my Instagram account. I have no idea why I keep looking at my computer, but he'll be on my Instagram, and I have a TikTok. I'll be posting a video up uh, with him on my TikTok 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 account. So yeah, go check me go check me out on my TikTok account. Link down in the description below. I did have a Twitch account that I've been attempting to try to do live streaming of video game every Wednesday, but at this moment I feel like I'm gonna focus on my YouTube channel as of right now. I feel like I kinda rush with my um TikTok account. I still wanna do it, but I'm gonna take a break from it just for a little bit until I get everything associated like is situated with my YouTube channel and everything else, trying to get schedule in a fix, I guess. I'm also going to be busy next week because I'm going to be working on the next video, which I'm not going to spoil. Okay, maybe a little. Ah! This is a little bit of a spoiler for next week. Well, the week after that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!